Greetings, my dear friends, and welcome back to Dave the Diver at long last. I buggered up earlier. I didn't record an entire day of diving and fishing and getting the damn sea people, saving the sea people princess and getting her back to her village. And I found the five little Clione things for that kid, Maki, and encountered and absolutely fucked up the Clione Queen, as you can see. Tentacle from it there. Um, anyway, we're <laughs> going straight into sushi, apparently. And then tomorrow morning we have an appointment with Dr. Bacon, of course. Always Dr. Bacon. But we have a nice amount of Marlin for the Marlin Festival, but also here. Yeah, Clione, like you asked. It's so beautiful, thank you, Dave. And uh, I found this. Huh? It's a photo of me. There's a huge Clione found this in its home. There's a button on the back, I'll try pressing it. Static. Maki, it's your father. If you're watching this then, I've probably failed my expedition. I couldn't really take care of you with my busy schedule. My greed for more work has turned me into an irresponsible father. You haven't been able to make many friends because we kept moving around because of my work. Even so, I want you to forgive me for being a terrible father and live a confident life. And your dream of becoming a chef, I hope it comes true. Now keep watching you from afar, so don't ever lose your smile. More static. Ah, mm. uh, seems to have cut off. <laughs> Don't be too upset. It seems your father really loved you, Mackie. Please let me work here. What? So suddenly? Yes, my father wouldn't like to see me so lethargic and sad. I want to show him that I'm doing fine and working hard, and as you've showed concern for me and helped me, I'd like to help you as well. Uh, Pancho, what do you think? What a spirited child I like her. We'll start working here, today, but you won't be getting any special treatment. Yes, okay, I'll work hard to learn and become an amazing chef. Maki joined Pancho Sushi as staff. Uh, speaking of staff, we'll swap Raul with Maki and we will train her a lot. Give her several training montage. Yeah, level five. That'll do. That'll do. Three hundred and thirty for cooking. Research done, Clione Queen Soup. Alrighty. Boiled sailfish and seaweed. 
and I don't have enough artisan's flame for the big-eyed scad and soybean paste roast. Uh, okay, menu. First off, we need some marlin. Where is that? That's tiger shark. That's marlin. Let's enhance it. What the hell, we'll do it again. Okay, now. Ten of those out. Some stuff's just going to go because there's next to none of it, but that's fine. If anything, I am actually trying to uh, <coughs> consolidate the menu a little bit, or at least my ingredients menu. Okay, now let's open up. in fact. Oh shit, wasabi. Hey, that was not a bad day's trading, if I do say so myself. The Marlin Festival was a success. Aha! Here, these are special diving gloves made in our research facility which I need. You'll see why shortly. With these, you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Enter the water. The dinging of those objective markers really, really irritates. To the point <coughs> that it makes you really want to do the thing that you're meant to be doing. Okay, pick up boulders, 
rocks, drop on the wood, drop it on the wood, there we go, oh, there we go, wow, very nice, let's try going down. Strong, grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away. Good. Grab onto objects like that to anchor yourself. That'll come in handy in places with strong currents. <coughs> oh, I see something shiny back there. Grab the stake in front of you and pull. Awesome. Since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. Uh, Alright, see you in the boat. Hello. Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling at the stake. Alrighty. Do you have anything to sell that's any good? Okay. Always like a good steel net sensor trap. sushi restaurant, so need to get fish. Fishies are necessary. just don't really want to be messing around with sharks right now. Which, honestly, I think is entirely reasonable. If 
I know my downs. Don't get caught in the middle of that, would be my advice. Come on, Monsieur Shark. Oh, fight me. Please. There we go. Got ya. <laughs> now you're dumb. Okay, poison harpoon tip. I'll take that. one I don't remember ever seeing before. The swirly of the mouse to reel them in. Gotta be careful with these bastards. As with all jellyfish, really. 
don't want to get stung by any of them. Some of them will even kill you. Now, there's these bastards as well. Just gonna swim past these bastards this time. Except for that last one who got me good. Oh shit. That's not what I needed. That's really not what I needed. Oh well. What's a good thing to take with me? Um You know, I think Where the hell was it? There. The sea toad. Damn it. That was unfortunate. But we did get a long nosed saw shark and a frilled shark as well. <laughs> so it's not all bad. But we're going right back out there. Because I have to deal with these sea people. I have to do it today, damn it. Oh, that's a whale. Whale oil beef hooked. Hello. Are you friends with the dolphins that I know? Yeah, I think it has something to say. I should record its cries and ask Ellie about it. painful than it needed to be, I'm sure. Long 
so shark. So we're going to quickly grab some oxygen. avoiding now. back in the presence of the sea people. Hmm. Huh? It's that pile of rocks moving around. Oh! It's that bloody octopus again! Octopus from last time, it's spraying ink again. I won't let you get away this time, just wait. Octopus returns. First off, Just wanted to see what was in this weapons crate. Shock harpoon tip. Thank you. Okay, and now, some air please, thank you. Now to get that bloody octopus. Great, the path is clear, just you wait you octopus. Come on, you little bastard. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. That's Bancho for Takayaki. That's a big one. Yeah, run away again. It's definitely quick. <sighs> Drop something again. Always leave something behind. Might not be as bad as I thought. Hmm. 
rusty weapon charm. Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. Okay. And now we're on the other side of that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ow! Bastard bloody thing. Back, human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. Mm. She talks like someone I know. Mm. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Mm. Bacon? <laughs> In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. <laughs> um, okay. Wait a moment. Let me try and pull. Ah, out the way. It's effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Uh, there's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. Then check it out, we shall. done on this side. I'll have to try going around back. <coughs> Shite! Ha! Huh. Take that, you bastard! Sneaky Mega Mouth bastard! Okay, 
every single time with one of those, I open it up and then I run away before I pick up the contents. It seems silly. this time. Yes! Stake in the back if I pull that out. If I pull that out, it should be fine. Crumble. Good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come on, come in through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you, so I would like you to come with the, to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to the Human Sea. I have a request. Uh, okay. this first. Oh, opal ore. spooky vibes. Oh dear. That doesn't look good. Something just moved past me. Human, go on ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. Can I go this way? I want to go this way. Away from the whatever the hell it is over there. 
Okay, no going this way. Fine! I want to take the lead, but I must protect Ramo. It's not because I'm afraid. Of course it isn't. No, it's just because you're a rampant coward. I hope nothing has happened to the village. Please hurry, human. Okay. Sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter! Entering an event will proceed that will end with you returning to the boat. Yes, let's do it. We're here. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Because humans suck, buddy, I would say. That's a big thing. There's vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? that? There are wolf eels that big? I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. than the rest of its body. Well, in that case, that's the bit I... shit. Shit! Good. Or 
fan of that. Ha! Got you, you bastard. Wolfield be so big. Oh. Um, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. <laughs> You're stronger than I expected, human. Now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Sure thing, Ramo. Let me just cut up some Wolfield tail, mate. And Wolfield gill. If it's all the same to you. Thanks. I'll take my tranquilizer rifle back. Well, it's not my tranquilizer rifle. But I'll still take it back. Finally back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have a key, right? Oh, no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding. <laughs> I have it here in my bag. <sighs> Thought you'd ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. that they've got waterfalls under the ocean. Wow, so this is, uh, <laughs> that's right, this is the Sea People village we live in. Mm. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait! How did a human get into here? Awang and Nawang. Huh? Ramo and Suwam? Were you kidnapped by this human? Tension awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Allow me. I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who, who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. What's going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know the strange things that have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Rama, I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. We, well, the ancient texts have all been lost. and We need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. He's probably right. In all fairness, they dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put it on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of. Ah, shit. Another huge tremor! See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. 
Um, hmm. When I was taken by this giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. So I said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the villagers' trust, I'll consider your suggestion. The villagers' trust? How does he go about winning that? About asking around to see what they need? Alright, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring, Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Chapter 3, a request from the sea people. Mm. Since you say you helped my daughter Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you are a human. Use this. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This sea people mirror, will, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow, is such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so that only you will be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. Mm. Teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. Mm. I have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. That is pretty cool. Well, I've gone deeper than I've ever been. That's good. Extra 15% of gun base damage added. Yes, I will add that right away, actually. <laughs> Guess I'll install this Sea People mirror on the boat. Mm. You said I could go to the Sea People village with this during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Mm. Oh no, look at the time. Bancho Sushi must have opened already. Mm. I should drop by and check if anything of note happened. I wonder. Mm. Ah, looks like I'm too late. Mm. Should do a little clean up. Mm. Huh? Miss Yoshie, what are you doing here? No, that's you. Oh, my work ended just now and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on despite the hour. Mm. Bancho seems to have gone home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. <laughs> Even so, I'm glad he I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Uh, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. <laughs> well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present, just in case it's still a sore spot for Bancho. Mm. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer? Um. Yeah, probably can. Ha! Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work, and I poured it perfectly for you. Oh. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as I drink. Mm. I'll tell you now a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. Doesn't it was twelve years ago. This is the Jugon 
Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. Looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshie, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? Do you know the actress Lois Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Lois Crawford. She was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was living in a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services, and the hotel itself. Our Jugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old-era nostalgia used our services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. I've heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky, but we're a very high-quality hotel with a history of tradition on our side, and I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Haha, <laughs> so there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well, just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. Hmm, it appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria, hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. The writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yushie? <sighs> well, let's accept her reservation. I suppose we can't refuse a reservation if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take, on the, reser we'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yushie? Um... Hotel's strengths are long tradition and long history and tradition, as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We need clean rooms and services that match her tastes. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her? I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you, which, with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. About the meals, we can offer the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. The dinners at our hotel. We'll go with French. Yeah, fantastic French food at our hotel. It's the pride and joy of Jugong Hotel, with a Michelin-starred head chef at the helm. But you came at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. The sous-chef has taken his place for now, and he cooks wonderfully well as well. Wonderfully as well. However, our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. What about Italian? A hotel provides Italian food like a bistro and in a la carte style. We serve pasta or pizza with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook in Naples and his margarita pizza was good, but it didn't really go well with the dinner course. What about Japanese? Jugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi been making exponential progress, however, after we hired Bancho. We've grown quite dramatically. Bancho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. 
he might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet, do you think it'll be alright? Bancho's skill is indisputable, however... One great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavours. <coughs> that is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. Dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford, after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Bancho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshie. Bancho, are you here? Miss Yoshie, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. That's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bencho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Bencho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen busy with something day in, day out. He researched, researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Bencho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Bencho, would you willing to... Would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? Servicing a VIP? That's right, we have an important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford, she's an actress that's infamously hard to please, and also a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Jugong Hotel. A Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. We can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say that I should try to please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important as Jugong, Jugong Hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Would that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Mentor. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guest. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshie, when it comes to servicing food. Very good. Now, as for the type of menu to employ for the sushi course, uh, the sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order, with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. What do you think of the sushi course? It's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method. However, don't you think it'll be too ordinary? choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi as the main dish. Olive flounder being in season right now. It won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, alright. Since this is to be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means that it'd probably be better to employ a western course format instead. That'll be a bit different from the traditional method. I think I could add soup, an hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So what will you make for each dish? There's the soup to begin with. A few minutes later. Yes, I think that'll be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. It's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far. So this is where we add a little spice. I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? 
must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. Thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is the time of year when they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks in particular has a lovely chewy texture which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. But shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. That it is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. I can't help but think that it's not that great of an idea, Bancher. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Jugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. The hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know just from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. It's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. <coughs> what a pity. I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura then, though it can't compare to shark. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing a food today, Bancho. Mm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Am I? Tight-lipped, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. Haha, <laughs> -ha, he seems a little tense. <laughs> he's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food, then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I liked the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a kitsch quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So what's for dinner? Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. The first dishes are pickled olive flounder fins. These are pickled olive flounder fins. The fins of the olive flounder have been pickled in a mixture of soy sauce <coughs> and peppers. <coughs> Raw fish from the very first dish. It really is Japanese, isn't it? Is that salty taste supposed to disguise the fatty flavour? Even so, this is too salty. As that is an hors d'oeuvre meant to stimulate the appetise, I did give it a stronger flavour. And the next dish is... a few minutes later. So the tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. The sort that's commonly served with rice. Hi. The dessert's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? <laughs> well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? <laughs> Even so, I'm sure our food is better than that of most other restaurants. The pickled olive flounder fins at the start of the course are interesting, of course. But serving pickled fish as an appetizer, I mean, really, a salad might have been better. Well, that's how it is with Japanese food. They always bring out some obscure rural dish, followed by boring fish carton arranged all nicely. 
Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of that fact, we served you Japanese. My mistake, please accept my apologies. Oh, whatever, it wasn't that good. It was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. <laughs> uh, may I have a word? Bancho. Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm the master chef who works here, Bancho. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? No, no, Bancho, Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy grown woman. What you witnessed today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. Bencho, you can't be talking about... Mm, so you're saying you have something else that you think will satisfy me. All right, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Bencho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god! This is... You fried the whole head? It is an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I chose to fry the whole head whole to preserve, yeah, to preserve the supple texture. I'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight! How can you call this food? What are you saying? Take just a bite! I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I'm not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Jugong Hotel? Uh, it's all my fault. I'll apologize. Now, Pancho, Yoshio, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. You should have been... I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? Pancho, now's not the time to... I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or a punishment? You pay you for treating me this way. Don't think I'll let just let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee as you wish. I don't care. Well, Lois Crawford. Unpleasant human. After that, Bancho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. Mm. Oh, I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was this stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. Uh, yeah, I'll do my best to help Bancho focus on his cooking. I suppose. Udo. Sir, the picture you took was well received. Ah, great to hear that. I hear my superiors want to assign me another task. <laughs> if I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones, I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? And what are you planning to take a picture of? And do you know about manta rays? Of course. They're one of the largest of their kind. I've seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Good. I'm planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? <laughs> Alright, I'm sold. But... But... They're nocturnal, so we need to move at night. Yeah. And we need some lure to attract them. So, I will protect, prepare my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? 
I don't know what manta rays feed on. I'm sure you'll figure that out in no time. I'll count on you then. Tell me when you've got the lore. Hmm. What would manta rays feed on? Ellie's the best when it comes to ecology. Should I give her a call? Well, I have to call Ellie anyway. And here's Dr. Bacon. Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. Yeah, I was at the Sea People village yesterday. You, you what? What happened? Well, you see... Exposition time! So then I met her dad. And that guy's a bit of a dick. Because he took all the credit for my work. I see. I envy you. I do. What a lucky experience. Yeah, I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but... Uh, as you said, only one person can use the Sea People mirror. What a pity. <laughs> what an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra Shop. Mm. Yeah, so I'll have to use the Sea People Mirror first to visit the village. Okay, you can use the mirror Tenjin gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. It's solar powered, so it's unable to be used at night. Alrighty. Okay. Huh? Some kind of mail is here. Mm -hmm. Should I check it? Well, yes. Star Shark Storm Party! Hello folks, this is the Blue Hole Tourism Committee. According to the National Weather Service, a storm will hit the Blue Hole hard for three days. And amazingly, people have started to report sightings of a variety of sharks roaming the coastal areas. The committee decided to utilize this opportunity and release a new tourism product. It's called the Storm Shark Party. Dear store owners, do not miss this opportunity to rack up revenue. We have special breeds of sharks sighted as well. Blue Hole Tourism Committee. Well, okay. We'll deal with that next time. And next time will probably not be as long as it has been between this and the last time. For now... Farewell, Dave will return.